thank you so much for uh, for uh, inviting me. The the this keynote is on new development that we 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 are currently doing in EPFL with the aim to develop uh, let's say a powerful platform to be located under the skin. Just to present you a bit more broad view, or let's say on on what we are doing uh, more in general worldwide. I would like to start to, to go back to this uh, forecast uh, 2011. The newest time uh, come out with this idea that 2045 will be the year where the man becomes immortal. And I'm sure all of you recognize the connector that the movie, the famous movie uh, Matrix, uh, offer us uh, with this idea to fully connect the man with, uh, with the machinery. Of course, we have dreamed and, 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 and thought several times about this idea to have a human plus plus or to improve performance of humans, I don't know, thinking to recover the hearing system or to recover people that are totally blind. And uh, once again, uh, science fiction showed us the possibility to create arms or even uh, full robots made by electromechanical device. On this track, we have done a lot of, a lot of work, of successful work. So this is a commercially available device here implanted on a baby. This is a man that is completely blind, but uh, uh, under experiment with the artificial retina, and he was able to recognize big letter A, I, E, and so on in a, in a screen of a computer, starting from being totally blind. And this is a soldier back from um, Iraq, uh, uh, Desert Storm War, that uh, uh, declared during interviews to be able to go back to play guitar. So that means that the artificial arms work quite well. Uh, another point of the forecast uh, from the Newsweek Times was that in, uh, in the next 32 years, we may expect the computational power, the computational performance of our machinery to overcome the computational power of the human brain. So that means we will have available a lot of computations in our devices. So along this track, several institutions, research and development institutions, this is a, a chart that I, 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 that's a courtesy of a people working in IMEC, which is an industrial research institution. Along this track, several research institutions and industry are thinking to spread all around us uh, uh, sensors, maybe words in tissues or even implanted in order to provide a full connectivity of every patient in future, maybe even healthy people, with the 